hey guys what's up this is second video of excel coding and uh, this video will be more over of how to update the test result in the excel sheet because i got lot of mail saying that i want to update the report in the excel sheet so how do i do that based on test case right so we will see that how we can update the report in the excel sheet so for that first you create one maven project okay if you don't have the maven project if you have no problem if you have the maven project you add this to dependency you can google it and you will get from the google apache poi poi oxml this two dependency you can get it from the google add the dependency then on the form do right click run as maven install dependency will get downloaded and then you go to the project right click on the project go to the maven and do update project force update and click on ok right your project will be ready for the coding now i will show you the scenario where you have the test case in the excel sheet right so let's let's assume that you have this test case you have this test case in the excel sheet and uh, you are running selenium test and you want to make pass and fail in the excel sheet assume that you have this test report sheet here right test report you have it here now how do you achieve that okay so what i did i made one method this method you can write anywhere in your test base you can call everywhere this method i am supplying four argument excel location sheet name test case name and test status right because when i want to update the result i need to know where is the location of excel sheet what is the sheet name what is the test case name and what is the test status now first i am making the object of file input stream right first i am making the object of file input stream why i am making the object of file input stream because i need to read the data why i need to read the data i need to read the entire excel sheet and i have to see that which test case report i have to up update okay so i'm making the object of file input stream and the file input stream will take as an argument of file object right so whatever excel loc location you will supply to this method it will make the object of that then i am creating the object of workbook right so workbook object got created because workbook uh, in the file what you have is workbook again the workbook what you have excel sheet right so whatever sheet name you have supplied get the sheet in which sheet you want to update right so this sheet now from the sheet what you do you get total number of row so as we know that sheet dot get last row num will give you the total number of row plus one because it will give you always one less right so we are doing that plus one now you got total row you have total row now now once you have the total row what you have to do this is your test case name come back to the excel sheet so you you got total row this is your test scenario name or test case name whatever now you have to match this like which test is matching so let's say registration test is matching then for registration i have to update this status right so what we can do here is we have to run a for loop because we have to match that right so we have total row available here now what i can do from the row okay so whatever row i have so one by one i will get the row so if you look at here sit dot get row of i so first row i will get the first row from the first row i will get of cell 1 so what does mean by from that row i am getting the cell of 1 dot cell string cell value what does mean by this line of code so you got the first row from that first row as we know that our second column is the test case name or test scenario name so in this year in the excel it starts from the zero so this is one right so one we know that so we can hard code because this position is not going to change so we can hard code because we only create with the excel sheet we know the position so get of one dot get cell value so get the cell value now see like whatever variable you have dot contents test case name whatever test case name you are supplying if contents right if contents go inside if contents go inside and check that if test case dot equals and ignores 
called pass right if ignores called pass or you don't need to write this big logic actually honestly so you don't need to write anything you remove this code you remove this code so in fact you can put the break statement here itself remove one curly braces and i will tell you why i remove the code because when the test case will match then only we are going inside right so whatever test case matched now the whatever row you have in your hand so assume that second row uh registration assume that registration row uh, this scenario is matching like okay you have this registration to be marked as a pass or fail so you are already supplying the test status here now when you are supplying the test status what you can do whatever row you have dot create cell of second why i am doing that create cell of second why because as we know that second column we have a test status which start from 0 1 2 so we know that second right so here it was matching so we are here actually so what i'll do create cell of 2 dot set cell value test status and then file dot close so set the status close that then till here the status has been set but your work is not over now you are going to write into the file so you need to create the object of file output string and the locations whatever you are supplying here the excel locations that will work out same locations and if you look at here where this data is getting created basically it is getting created in a workbook because you are creating a workbook in the workbook you are getting the seed in the seed you are getting the row and if you look at here in the row you are setting the data so finally the workbook you are going to write in the this workbook you are writing to the output file so what is the output file is nothing but your excel location right so this guy will go and it will write the status okay it will write the status and then close the file so if i run this so let's say what is my seat name test report copy the test report in down i am testing the method so keep the uh, seat name is equal to test report and then let's say for registration i want to for registrations i want to pass okay registrations so that's how i am calling the method update result this is my update result a static method so we can call without object excel location seat name test case name and test status so if you look at here excel location is nothing but system dot get property and we have one excel seat demo slash xls at the project level here here right this excel i want to write to so slash demo so as we know that system dot get property user dot dir will give you the location still your project and then if you do here right click and if you go to the properties of this excel sheet you can see that after the project you have only slash demo dot xls right slash demo dot xls so copy this paste it here so this is your excel locations the sheet name is test report registration and then pass so let me do one thing let me close this save it now if i run this okay it is saying that done because i have given here done so now let me open this we can see that for registration what is the test status is equal to pass now let me do one thing let me since you are executing the test scenario right so you can execute multiple scenario so let me make three and here let me make payment so make it here payment payment is equal to fail and i will use one more scenario cancel test cancel test is equal to pass now let me close the excel sheet and let me run this yeah so now if i open this excel sheet i can see that pass 
fail and pass. So that's how I'm able to update the report in the Excel sheet. Now what you guys can do is the same code. Okay. Uh, since this is a method, so you can use this method in your test base or somewhere wherever you have, and you can call everywhere. So whenever you want to update the report, you can call this, right? So if I have to show you what I can do, the same thing I will do a control C. I'll make one an, another class. I can show you how we, you can achieve that. So uh, let me make here itself one more class so that you'll understand how you can do in the real time. So let me make a main method, paste this code, and only what changes I have to do is since this is a static method, so from different class I have to call class name dot method now, right? So let me update here. So got updated here. Now I'm getting a compile time because you know this will throw the exception. So I need to add the throws. Now if I run from here also, if I do run as done done done, right? So three time got executed. And if I open this Excel sheet, I can see that pass, fail, and pass. Right? So that's how the report has been generated. So that's how we can generate the report. So hope you guys will be able to understand this code. This is a simple code. If you go line by line, you will understand. I know only where you will get a problem. You will get a problem here. Uh, the area where I am creating the here you will get a problem because in the row I am creating the cell, second cell. Why I am creating the cell? Because in the Excel you cannot write just like that. Okay. You need to create the second cell. So for the corresponding test scenario, you need to create the cell and then only you can write. And you know the which column you have to create, right? So this is your second column. That is the region here. I am creating create cell of second dot set cell value, right? So you can take this code from my git locations and if you will do a practice you will able to know how you have to write this code so let me commit this code so that you guys can get this code from my git location so let me commit the a class also so you will come to know how to call also from the different class So the code is available to my git locations now. Uh, if I will go to my git locations now, I can see the code there. So if you look at uh, if I'll go to my git locations here. And if I'll go to my so click on this framework, click on this SRC in the main, yeah, Excel tutorial. So here you guys can see that update report you have it here, right? So this code is available here. You guys can take the code from here and the A class where we have done the testing for this code, right? So both the classes available here, and this is my locations so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and hope you'll be able to add this code in your framework integrations right please like my video and subscribe my channel